In this video, we are gonna be unboxing some Monster High. Have not unboxed any Monster High in, feels like forever. And this is a pretty big Monster High playset. This is the high school playset. I actually trying to figure out how to fit the entire box on camera. This playset is not new, it came out quite a few years ago. There are actually several different Monster High high school themed play sets, including Dead Lux High School playset, Skultimate Science Class, and Home Ick. I chose this one because as it states on the box, it expands to play and collapses to store. On the front of the box, it details that the playset includes a classroom, the casket ball court, a locker setup, a DJ booth, and the creepateria. On the back of the box is a similar image, but flipped vertical instead of horizontal. And on the bottom, you can see a more detailed picture of how the playset expands and then collapses. Now to give you an idea on when this playset was released, you can see on the packaging a little image of Ghoul's Rule, the first Monster High DVD released in 2012. Now because the packaging is so big, I'm not gonna try to unbox it on camera. So here is everything that was inside the box. We have two, three, four bags of accessories. You've got the DJ booth, a sheet of stickers, the doors, and the main piece of the playset, which apparently is already assembled. And then we have a sheet of instructions. And I think we will start with step one. So this playset is still too big to get on camera, even though it is more compact than the Ever After High castle that I have. But let's see if I can put together all the little pieces. take a quick look at what I assembled. I have a cart, which I guess this could be a cart for food or maybe a cart for science class. Two chairs and desks. Then we have a set of bleachers for our casket ball court. And we have a cafeteria, or in this case, creepateria table. I also assembled these two columns with gargoyles, but they actually attach to the front of the playset. And here is our DJ booth. You can see the silver detail in the speaker. See on the top here, we've got our faux controllers. Now the inside cardboard cutouts seem to be inserted upside down, but I'm wondering if that's because you would flip it over to make it a trophy case for the high school. The playset also comes with all these fun accessories, including this kind of disco ball monster high skull head. That's really cute. In addition to that, we have two bowls of, well, it looks like mushy peas to me, but maybe it's gruel or something. We have these cauldrons of, I think they're supposed to be beverages in like cauldron shaped mugs. We have two more beverages complete with molded plastic straws and ice cubes. We have this glass jar, which has a removable lid. And actually on the other side is a measurement. Like you could almost imagine this is for maybe science class for a beaker of some type. We have a cauldron of some type of potion maybe. Now we have these two books here. They open and you can see the Monster High logo. Now we have some stickers that I think would be perfect for these books. Now look how cute that is. Oh, I love miniature little books. 
We have these, which look like little writing utensils. And this seems like a professor's briefcase. We have this gold plaque. These look like a couple of awards for our awards case. Then we have this item. Now, if I was gonna guess, I would say some kind of award or magic wand or something like that, and this is its stand. Then we have these skull-shaped locks for our lockers, and unfortunately, one of them has a little factory defect. Here is our lockers. You can put the lock on and close it up. It also came with all these cute little plastic, they look like jack-o'-lanterns, really. And they go up here, just like that. I almost forgot, we also have this tiny little frog who's very sad, probably because he has three eyes. So now I have set up my playset for play. I filled it with my doll collection. These aren't all of my Monster High dolls, but I really wanted to populate the space. The set comes with six lockers built into the side of our wall. So now we're looking at our creepateria setup with our cafeteria style table with the bench seating. And you can see I have fit four dolls around the table, but you can see their legs are really squished in there. So I actually have Billy Invisibilly with his legs out to the side. We have our ladder here, our kind of ladder style steps, I should say which lead up to our balcony. You can see the peak of the roof of our playset is still taller than our doll. I really love the details, for instance, the texture on the floor. I love the cutout of the pane in the windows looking like spider webs. And on the other side of our playset, I love this purple checkerboard floor pattern. I love the teal doors. And you can see the molded plastic detail indicating the Monster High emblems on the door as if they're carved into the wood. So this is the room from another angle because I wanted to point out the shelving over here in the corner. So when the playset is collapsed for storage, this is actually part of the roof line. So it looks like this is part of the classroom and the classroom has some low shelving here and some desktop here. We have like a spilled test tube and an open book with a pencil. You can see again the Monster High crest over here decorating what looks to me like shelving in a classroom. So here is the front of the playset. See that second story roof peak. Standing in front, we have Gulia next to the gargoyles. The thing I love about these gargoyles is that the books are removable. I think that's so cute. And then on the other side here, we have our casket ball court with our bleachers set up. The set does come with a ball. Now, my little net, which you attach right here, it was really bent. So I keep pushing it back into shape, but it does kind of, the ball kind of gets stuck. <laughs> um, but I love the look of the front of the playset just as much as the inside. You can see a lot of detail. Love the, the wood colored doors. Again, you've got your Monster High crest insignia here, as well as at the top here. And this is that button you push to unlock the playset when you want to expand it from its collapsed form. Now here is the playset all closed up again and it is pretty compact when it's folded up. However, none of these accessory pieces will fit in the compact version of our playset. So you will need to find an extra storage container for all of these items. Playset does have this retractable handle and the back of this playset is another usable backdrop. I do really love this playset, especially all the detail. But what do you think? Comment below.